Hey guys, we're at MTS Toys and Hobbies, and I am actually going to uh, go in and visit my friend Isaiah. I have a new Osmo Mobile. Well, it's not new, but I, I use it. And uh, it's a giant live on YouTube, but we're going to go in and visit my buddy Isaiah and see what is going on here at the hobby shop. I, I stop in here all the time, and uh, he has a lot of. Uh, die cast uh, static display models and uh, I've known Isaiah since I was a teenager I actually got his dad back to uh, currency back when I was about 20 21 years old uh, I was flight instructing over at uh, Clinton County Airport and that's when his dad came over and that's when I met Isaiah and everybody so I'm gonna flip the camera over go meet Isaiah you guys get to see this uh, cool little hobby shop that's here in Beaver Creek Ohio what is going on gents What's going on, Dewey? <laughs> We're not nervous. Yeah, so this is Isaiah. Mark, he's a employee. Isaiah's paying him about $200 an hour. It, it's yep. pretty good pay around here. And then, But he's a big collector, so then he comes in and spends more than he makes. That's a pretty sweet deal. <laughs> yeah. Mark what do you guys... Collector. What do you guys have going on well, here? Well, we got some cool new stuff that we're going to show you, I guess, huh? Well, that's cool. I'm oh, up for wanna, seeing that. I see a new B so This is kind of cool because we just got a Facebook notification that uh, they just confirmed four B 17s coming to the Air Force Museum Memphis. And, and Urbana Grimes. And Urbana. Yeah. So you guys, uh, May 14th, I think it is, Urbana Grimes. They're going to be offering rides in B 17s. Man, so, that's cool. Uh, this is cool. This is actually. Uh, painted that I know three of the ones that are coming uh, are painted like so this is kind of cool this is a new release it's a die cast B17 172nd scale I think they only made 1100 of these super detailed man that's pretty cool I yeah. might have to get one I think you should really did you see my new standard video Oh yeah, it looked good. The uh, the model go right in between. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah, turrets move, flaps come down. If you want a B17 model, this is the one. But yes, it's kind of cool. This one, I think, this is Little Miss Mischief, and I think they finished almost 50 uh, missions. But yeah, you can have the landing gear up or down. Comes with a nice stand. That's cool. Let me see. Let me turn it around here. Oh, yeah, did you get the nose art? No, I didn't. Here, look at that. He's looking at it for himself. I am. Oh, okay. Look at the missions. Man, that's cool. I'm running into it here. Now, this is real similar to the one that we flew in, too. Yeah, the Modest Maiden. Modest Maiden, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Comes with this stand here. Yep. Okay. Yep. There's another part to it. Oh, uh, here's some landing gear. Got to make sure you... Put the gear on it, you Landing know. Landing gear up or down. Don't want to be like the Memphis Bell movie, you know, 10-minute gear mm -hmm. extension. Well, this one's kind of cool, actually. A little story that goes along with the model is, is the reason that this thing is got the green panels is that it crashed. It, 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 it got damaged, real damage on a mission, came back, made it home, and um, crashed, and they took parts from 13 B-17s and got it back flying. So the green parts that you see on the aircraft are actually were from other B-17s. And so they got it flying and, uh, uh, like I said, finished 50 missions. But uh, this would have been a, a different looking one because the panels. It's kind of cool. But that is. I did not know. So in World War II, that's what they did. They used a... Yeah, they would go. They would have a bunch of broken up airplanes. And then they would salvage parts off of the ones that weren't flying anymore. And uh, it didn't matter, I guess aesthetically what the color was they just put them together and got them going you know I, I used to fly a twin otter let me turn this around here i used to fly this twin otter we called it frank and otter because it had eight different twin otters did it really yeah paul ferret owned it and if you guys were skydivers you would probably remember this airplane because uh it had like a white tail and a red nose and it was like red nosed reindeer actually <laughs> but uh but yeah that's what we did we used uh, eight different airplanes they put it together and it flew it and one of the airplanes burned up I, I remember that so they used like the wings off of that one and 
huh. and everything. Well, that's cool. You guys probably don't want to see my mug, do you? My face here. I'm Ready? hoping this live stream is working. Hopefully. I think it is, though. Well, this is something What else. is this? This is a Southwest <laughs> 737 Max. As, uh, well, Columbus is now a pretty big Southwest base and uh, so these maxes are starting to come through Columbus and uh, so people are flying on them we got customers that work for Southwest that are buying them and man that's cool loving them so that's that's the new 737 max 8 from uh, from Gemini I might have to get one of these my friend uh, Amy flies 73s for Southwest airplane Amy if you watch this which Airplane I, Amy needs one. She I needs doubt one she. Bat. What is this? Another. This is another yeah, Southwest. This, this is out. pretty cool. This is actually. I guess Southwest will do special paint schemes for. Yeah, is that each California? State. Yep. No, this is actually Missouri. Okay. So. With the bears on it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So that's another Southwest. It's pretty cool. It's got the scimitar winglets on there. That is kind of cool. But we Southwest is just popular. We can't uh, we can't keep them in stock really because they go they go quick. Man. But these are beautiful. Jim and I, you know, if you're wanting to collect airliners, you can't beat Jim and I. That's cool. And then they also did. This has been another real popular one. The Delta Widget. Anybody love the old Delta scheme? It's the MD88 and the old uh, Delta Widget scheme. Who doesn't love the Mad Dog? Yeah. There my, it is. My buddy uh, Brandon is upgrading in February. Yeah, check that out. Man, I don't want to grab it holding well, this camera. Here. Actually, here. Camera. I will. I'll yeah. grab it here. Yeah. Oh, man. This thing's heavy. So. There you go. Fly that in there. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I used to fly DC-9. Of the DC-9. but. Oh, yeah. Man, that's nice. Well, everybody likes the widget scheme. So that's, you know, that's what... Anytime we get an announcement from a company, we sell a bunch of those because that's what everybody wants. Okay. Cool. Yeah. That's a pretty cool little thing going on. Did you guys have a good Christmas? Oh, Excellent. yeah. Yeah. Well, Absolutely. We're Excellent. busy. We're loving the new shop. Here you guys go. You probably... I didn't even get to show you, but... Yeah, it's still merchandise in Christmas mode. Yeah. Intrigued with... You know, everybody kind of loves logos, but man, you can get these uh, Kobe kits. And look at all this cool stuff they make. And then they have all these fighters. And these are all Lego compatible. So he has a ton of different aircraft for this maple syrup for Christmas. And then he, he has a whole bunch more over here. They actually have the rights for Boeing. So they have the Spirit of St. Louis, I know that. Pretty cool. You want to check out this Jenkins? Yeah. Oh yeah. You got. Let me. Let me turn this around. So these are, uh, and these are really some of the best prefix. But these run about 280, and uh, hand painted. They're really, really great. They got yeah. a brass bearing for the prop. Look how that prop spins. Yeah, that's awesome. I think Dewey needs one of those. He's a John Jenkins collector. Well, I have the D7. Yeah, I think you need to so add. So you, you, you think I need to add a... You could. The Spitfire could. on it. Well, well, you got some other stuff in here, don't you? Oh, yeah. We got the P26, F4B. Uh, B17, huh? Right. The GB is? Yeah, that's, a, that's, a, that's one, too. Wow. Pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I, I can't tell if there's any anybody uh, writing any comments or anything, but I don't know. So, guys, this is MTS Toys and Hobbies over in Beaver Creek. It's on Fairfield Road. Actually, I could tell you here. It's 1277. Mm -hmm. The new location. North yeah. Fairfield Road. Here. Is that backwards? Looks like it is. It's 937-320-1428. I could just do this, and then you could read it correctly. <laughs> but here's a whole bunch of other stuff that they have here. If you guys are into diecast collection stuff with Isaiah, but 
talk airplanes. Yeah. Yeah, we do talk. Work with, uh, was it Chino? What? Plane what? The fame. Planes. They would actually go around and volunteer, and they would do the rides and help with all the, the crews. Fun making videos of different things I, I do, so I hope you guys enjoy. It's so cold outside, it's it's uh, like 18. The snow is down on the ground, it's blowing like crazy. I can't go and fly or anything. I went out to the hangar today, checked on everything, make sure that the, nothing's broke or busted, nothing's leaking out of the airplanes. So uh, the old peat and pole, Andrew's peat and pole, I actually drained all the water out of the radiator and everything for him. So when he gets here in the spring, you know, we can put, if it's good enough, we might throw some skis on it and uh, go fly the peat and pole around with some skis. I might buy some skis uh, for my champ and everything, so we'll have some cool videos like that. Hobby shops, there's like four hobby shops in the Dayton area that's really nice, unique um, niche. So plastic models, you go to the other hobby shops, there's more RC cars, some, air, uh, some are more into the electrics, uh, electric aircraft. So it, uh, I'm going to actually turn this camera around and show you guys just a couple more things. Here's a whole bunch more stuff. This I bought off Isaiah. D7 is one of my favorite World War I airplanes. Man, they got rockets. It's not a huge thing. It's kind of cool. You got a little military figures. My buddy, uh, Adam. Adam said he'll try to come in a couple days. Yeah. He said you have something for him. Yeah, I do. So, uh, Adam collects those little figurines. There's a, a P-40 in a sunset flight. All right. You guys can see all this stuff. It's kind of cool. A buddy Cliff. There you go, buddy. Atlas. All my spirit buddies. I might have to get Brandon at MD-80. Was trying to build up time. I got his first multi-engine time. I pretty much kicked him out and made him go get a real job. And I actually had lunch with him or dinner with him just a couple weeks ago. Man, this is pretty cool. Can you on there? No, I don't have you on there. Here, we'll kick it around. Hey! See you guys next time. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get off here and visit with them. I haven't seen them since, uh, mm -hmm. and I didn't get to see all this stuff here, and it's 16 minutes, believe it or not. Hey. Yeah. I might go live, uh, end up you guys out to Red Stewart Airfield, where I learned how to fly, and they're having a fly out, I guess, on New Year's Day. We're going 8 o'clock in the morning at, like, 15 degrees temperature with snow on the ground, but I might get my champ out. Depends if I can preheat it early enough and get it ready to go. But I read Stewart where I learned how to fly and actually talk to some cool people over there and see what it's really like to see some rural grassroots. All right, till then, see you guys. Now I have to figure out how to shut this thing off. <laughs>